So all of these I would have to have. Yeah. Oh, that's I, how you have a chip. I, I would be sick like everywhere. Oh. Rupert spent more than 80 days in a specialist treatment unit diagnosed with a rare blood disorder. The six-year-old's immune system was failing right in front of his parents' eyes. That first week, you know, he had lines put in to have the, you know, the chemo through, and it is horrible to see. Um, I remember the time when his hair was falling out, and I was in with a nurse, and I was just stroking his hair, um, and it was just coming out in clumps. And it wasn't until later on that day, and he saw his reflection in the bath, um, and the tap, he could see his reflection, and he went, my hair's gone. <sighs> I would have done anything to have swapped places with him. <laughs> it's, it's, it's such, it's such a horrific experience. <laughs> His only option was to find a willing bone marrow donor who was a close enough genetic match. Unknown to Rupert, in Basildon, someone was about to join the register who had the potential to save his life. Yeah. Billy Higgins works in a bank. A charity had set up outside and was signing up bone marrow donors. He's the first to admit his initial reasons for joining the register wasn't all about helping others. There was a, a group of girls standing, standing near to the register. Um, so I thought I'd join the queue, saw an opportunity to have a bit of a chat. So you joined the queue to talk to the girls? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, ended up on the register because uh, the girl I liked was in the queue. <laughs> Due to the complexities of Rupert's condition, Billy had to have an operation to remove some of his bone marrow. If you've got that opportunity to provide the bone marrow that someone desperately needs, then you have to do that, it's the right thing to do. Rupert has gone on to make a full recovery. They calm roots. Four years on, he's found out who his donor was. It's just amazing that he's done this for me. I can't believe someone's just done this for me. Billy went to Hemel Hempstead to meet Rupert and his family. He was joined by the girl that he was flirting with in the queue to become a donor. She had to come along, really, seeing as now she's his wife. Hey. Hi. How'd you nice do? to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How you doing, Rupert? Good, thank you. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all right, no problem. <laughs> you were amazing. <laughs> thank you. It's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> It was a chance for Billy to finally understand the impact he had on Rupert's life. I feel, I feel very lucky and I can't believe that someone would do this for me and I can't believe like, so, that someone has I, can't, I don't know, I can't put it into words. He's a superman. <laughs> I'll take that one. He needed a hero and it's safe to say that he got one. But with five people every day beginning their search for a bone marrow donor, the majority won't yes. be as lucky as Rupert. Oh, I don't want the Robbie West, BBC Look East.